7 Eyewitness News is working to protect your family. 839 and growing. That is the number of individual cases of measles that have been confirmed in 23 states across the United States. It is the greatest number of cases reported in our country since 1994 and since measles was declared eliminated in 2000. Measles, one of several topics being discussed at a conference taking place right now in Western New York. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ala Araby tells us the big takeaway at this gathering is how the medical community is working to inform the public about the facts concerning vaccination. How does misinformation spread so quickly? That was the main topic of this morning's discussion at the Western New York Immunization Conference in Williamsville. A lot of the beliefs people hold about vaccines are completely not true. 18-year-old Ethan Lindenberger says he grew up in a home in Ohio where vaccines were looked down upon. So he went against his parents' wishes and got vaccinated. Once I found out they were important and they were very effective in keeping people safe, that's when the gear started turning. Southtown's mother, Marina Williams, is currently suing the state and the Orchard Park School District. They have denied her daughters from attending school because they're not vaccinated. Williams says vaccines go against her family's religion. Religious beliefs aside, health experts say social media is a major source of misinformation. As healthcare providers, we need to evolve and manage that because we want to make sure that our patients are getting the information that reflects science and facts. Social media platforms like Twitter have taken steps to stop the spread of vaccine misinformation. If you go on Twitter and you look up anti-vaccine hashtags, like hashtags vaccine cause autism, it will have a direction to hhs.gov that says like don't come to Twitter for vaccine information. Dr. Leonard Friedland says we need to understand what vaccines have done and will do for society in terms of fighting preventable diseases. He recalled a measles outbreak in 1990 when he was training to be a doctor in Philadelphia. There were, I think, seven if not nine people who died from measles that winter in Philadelphia. Two of them uh, were children who passed away in my hospital. So I've seen personally what this disease does. In Williamsville, Ala Airby, 7 Eyewitness News.